It was a beautiful fall day when second grade students recently headed for the Virginia Tech Research Farm for a two and a half hour experience with hands-on learning. Farm Day has become a tradition in Suffolk Public Schools, exposing second graders to the agricultural industry here in town. Being out in the field, so to speak, enriches the learning experience of these young students. Well, it's an educational experience for their children um, to come out and to actually see things that they normally wouldn't be able to experience in the classroom. Um, teachers can show pictures and things like that of, of these different activities, but actually handling it in person is, is much better experience for them. It's a lot of hands-on activities for them here on the farm today, and a lot of kids don't have the chance to go to a farm to actually see what, what goes on on the farm and this um, is a day out on the farm and it shows them what, what they um, actually do. Students first have their group picture taken in front of an imposing farm tractor. Then students rotated through several learning stations. At one station, they learned about honeybees and touched a real beehive, minus the bees. At another station, they used yummy ingredients to make a dessert representing the layers of soil, starting with crushed vanilla wafers for bedrock, chocolate pudding for the subsoil, crushed Oreos for the topsoil, and to top it off, gummy worms. Behind one of the barns, the wide-eyed youngsters came face to face with two young swine and learned where bacon, ham, and sausage come from. A representative from the Virginia Department of Forestry surprised everyone by telling them that some clothes and sponges come from trees. And yet, at another location, they discovered the many uses of the soybean. This day of fun and exploration was made possible by a grant from the Suffolk Education Foundation and the Violet H. Greco Foundation. This is Beth Ann Bradshaw reporting for News Bites. Did y'all know that like the gasoline that I put in my car...